you better watch out. Tis the season for poison oaks. This is Clutch and Bones with one Thunderstone Williams Ventures. I am not a botanist, a doctor, or an expert on plants. Please, please use caution. caution. And when seeking medical, medical advice, advice, please look to medical, medical professionals. Today we're talking about Pacific Poison Oak, also known as Western Poison Oak, that grows in the west of North America, especially where we are today here in the foothills of Northern California. Poison Oak grows in leaves of three. It has a classic oak shape, but can vary. The edges of the leaves are lobed or even toothed, like little oak clouds or ridge chips. You like ridge chips, by chance? Ridge chips. Thunderstone Wilderness Ventures, brought to you by Ridge Chips, the leader in, in chips. In the spring, they start out as little red leaves and can have small flowers. In the summertime, they'll mature to bright green like this, and in the fall turn red or yellow and lose their leaves becoming dormant in the winter. Sometimes you'll see the plant down there as a ground cover right on the ground. Other times you'll see it as a shrub and other times you'll see it as a vine climbing up in the trees. Here we have wild grape with poison oak hiding underneath. A problem right now with spring and summer is you'll see the poison oak getting right into the trail. Coming right into the trail. Right here, right on the trail, sticking out. People will often describe poison oak as a shiny leaf. That doesn't mean it's always shiny. In fact, around here, it's not very shiny most of the time. So the shiny part is actually the oil that's on the leaf. And the oil is what gets on your skin and what we're allergic to, the rash. The rash usually takes a day or two to show up. It'll start at little red dots yes. and grow into more of a nasty rash. Red. It'll be really itchy and the urge to scratch it will be almost unbearable. Extra gross! It will swell and can be puffy on your That's skin. That's super gross! The more you scratch, the worse it gets. So you went and done touched some poison oak. What you gonna do now? You get it on your skin, wash it with soap and water. Dish soap's gonna be great. Get that oil off your skin. As far as commercial treatment goes, I'm not a doctor, see a doctor. A common one that people like to use is Technu. Natural remedies. There's a whole slew of natural remedies. Get online and look. You'll be shocked. I'll read you some. Apply aloe vera, apply mugwort, buckwheat, drink a chickwood tea, an infusion of manzanita, apply rubbing alcohol, tea tree oil, witch hazel, a baking soda paste, even rubbing mud on your skin. My grandpa's old remedy was to soak a bunch of oatmeal, put it on the affected area, and when the oatmeal dries, it would pull the oil out of your skin. My brother got poison oak so bad, his face and arms were all puffy and red, and he had this drying, flaking oatmeal coming off his skin. It looked like he had leprosy. One study I found says that 15% of people are resistant to poison oak, that they cannot get it. But that doesn't mean you can't develop a sensitivity to it. A guy I knew once told me that he had been, he had lots of contact with poison oak growing up, but that one time on a hiking trip, he had no choice but to walk through this huge patch of it. And he said the leaves were very oily and shiny. He said he walked through it and just got it all over himself. And he says that's when he gained a sensitivity to it. I have laid down in poison oak on accident with my shirt off. Got no poison oak, no rashes. Get out of that stuff. My brother, on the other hand, he could see poison oak a mile away. Suddenly he breaks out like crazy. In Christopher Niger's book, A Guide to Wild Foods and Useful Plants, he talks about how Native Americans gained an immunity to poison oak by eating the young plant in the early spring. He himself tried it out and went through a bunch of poison oak and says he only developed a slight rash, which was an improvement. He will tell you that it, is, that it is not a settled scientific practice. Modern medicine will tell you the more you go through poison oak, the more sensitive you will get to it. Wouldn't be a bad idea to wear long pants boots, even gaiters when going through areas heavily with poison oak, especially if you know you're prone to break out really bad. Your clothes, put those in the bag. Don't transfer those poison oak clothes on everything. Do not burn poison oak. This can cause permanent damage to your lungs and can cause blindness. Go to the emergency room.
wildland firefighters have had issues with this. That's why we know. Welcome to the test. This is the part where I show you an image and you tell me if it is poison oak or not. What do you think this is? It is not poison oak. This is blackberry. Poison oak or not? Yes, it is. Nice red leaves. Poison oak or not? Yes, it is. Poison oak? No, that would be hall. Poison oak. Yes, nice viney one. Nope, not poison oak. Oak like leaf? Not poison oak. Yes, poison oak. Red chips. Yes, poison oak. Rounder leaf? Yes, poison oak. Why you got that in your hand? Not poison oak. Yep, poison oak again. And this is not poison oak, although it looks very much like it. This would be known as lemonade berry, skunk brush, or three leaf sumac, and it is edible. What kind of critters eat poison oak? Well, deer, birds, and squirrels are all known to eat poison oak. If your dog gets poison oak on you, on him, you don't have to worry because animals are not really affected by poison oak. But your dog goes wandering in the woods, comes back, you guys get all close, touchy touchy, squishy face, kiss kiss your dog on your face. Maybe you just got poison oak on your face. Some Native Americans actually use poison oak for things. They use the poison oak to make baskets as a dye to cure ringworm, treat warts, cauterize wounds, stop bleeding, treat rattlesnake bites, and even as tattoo ink. Thank you dearly for watching my video. Get out there and don't get that poison oak on your luscious, perfect, beautiful skin. God bless you. Shout out to people that are good.